Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. If you're new, welcome, my name is Claire. I'm gonna be showing you my very unorganized, kind of messy, well it is now, my beauty room. I bang on about it in my videos all the time. Not banging on about it, but I, I always say, yeah, my beauty room, in the hallway, in the hallway. Well, if you're new to my channel, welcome. You might not have seen my previous video, which I posted up, oh, 2019, I think that's when it was. I did a beauty room tour and a filming room tour. So we just decorated this bedroom and it's a video just showing what is in my bedroom because I had a lot of people ask me where I got certain things from. So I did that. Showed you what was in my drawers behind me, my beauty drawers. The one directly behind me is all my hair care. The one next to it is full of body care. That's a complete mess and I'm not gonna show you that. It just needs to be sorted out, but I do show it in that video. Nothing much has changed. <laughs> in that video then, I go and show you my filming room, which is a tiny little box room, but that is now my husband's office since the pandemic. So he's taken over my filming room, so which is why I'm in my bedroom <laughs> filming. So the hallway was just a junk room. We just had loads of boxes and yeah, it was just a bit of a junk room to be honest. So then when my husband took over my filming room, I had to have somewhere to keep all my beauty stuff, all my boxes, my giveaway products, my filming equipment, everything. So we decided to put some shelves in the hallway. On the wall, you'll see I've got all my hats, even though I've got an obsession with hats. I've got about eight or nine that are still not on the wall. They need to go on the wall somewhere, but I haven't got a lot of room left. It's a mixture of my skincare, my makeup, my camera equipment area is a bit of a mess at the moment because we're going on holiday in a couple of weeks time. So I've been pulling everything out and you might not be able to see, maybe you can, I don't know, behind me, behind the bed there, I've got all my camera stuff, my gimbals, my GoPros, um, different lenses, everything everything can all my batteries and all that are all there so I know that's what I want to take on holiday with me I'm going to show you now why not now it is a bit of a mess I know you lot want to see it so here we go let's take you into the room this is the hallway this is where my hats are <laughs> and um yeah this is where I keep all my beauty stuff <laughs> it is a lot I wanted to sort it out before I went on holiday of what I wanted to bring. Still haven't done it exactly, but I have an idea. So yeah, look at this, I'm loving this from Spectrum Cosmetics. I had a little, where is it, it's up here somewhere. Yeah, I had a little cleaner, a cleanser, which is gorgeous. And this little towel, that's been hanging up in my bedroom, but the brushes are all dry now and I've been taking them out one by one. And I've got a load of brushes in there that my daughter washed for me, which is lovely. So this is like my book section, really just books. In here is all like um, family stuff, like school memories and letters and things like that. Yeah, these are the other hats that I haven't got room to put up anywhere. <laughs> Uh, you might see a theme going on there. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with fedoras in <laughs> all different shades. So in the corner, I got some of my son's holiday stuff gathering up there. All of this here is all a bit messy. I really need to sort it out. A lot of my filming stuff is back in the bedroom because I'm gonna be taking it with me on holiday. But let's start up here then. Okay, so these are all the mists that I like or trying to use. My ultimate all-time setting spray is this one. It is just gorgeous, <laughs> it's full of makeup marks. I've loved it for years, it is my go-to. It's really hydrating, yeah, I love it. This one is fab if I want a dewy, glowy look, but it hasn't got um, the longevity of this one. This one here, the U-Tan, it's the Jamie Genevieve one. CBD self tan. It's a gradual tanning spray, extra dark. I think that one's extra dark or 50% darker. Oh my word, that is beautiful. I bought another bottle to take to Santorini with me. I just adore it. Really, really gorgeous. Plus it has a host of benefits for your skin as well. I 100% recommend this for a gorgeous natural looking tan that can be buildable. So a little mirror. So in here, 
this is going to be really messy this all needs like a clean down but here's all my pencils lots <laughs> of different pencils there i love the charlotte tilbury ones they're just beautiful can't shut it now what's in here my eyeliners mainly black mainly black eyeliners there but um i do have some colored ones like in some brown ones as well and some blue ones and then some brows i need to get rid of that actually that is stinking <laughs> but yeah i like um brow blade like urban decay although saying that this by lottie london arch rival beats it hands down and it's only £4.99 i think it is anyway but they don't do anything lighter than brown it's too dark for me but it is stunning i can get some really gorgeous looking fine hair strokes with it oh if ever they bought out lighter shades i will snap them up like a shot i go through my makeup regularly and i get rid of a load so these are my concealers i've got a new born this way one which is lovely Tarte, a few NARS ones. NARS is my favourite. NARS is, oh, I love it. But then I also like the Maybelline as well. The Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. They're all great. Then my mascaras. Um, mm, I'm not too keen on that one, actually. It's the burgundy one by Charlotte Tilbury. But this one I like. The 5D um, Lash Pow by Revolution. Iconic London. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's coming down now. And this Lash and Define. 5D Lash by Revolution and Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then I've got little minis here. This one's a little bit messy, actually. This is Lash Freak by Urban Decay. But um, hmm, it is a little bit messy. Little minis there. And I love Bad Girl Bang as well. This is just a mixture. <laughs> Mascaras, eyeliners, pencils. And then these are hidden makeup, as in outside out of mind because of the way my brain works i need to see what i've got i need to see exactly what i've got so then i can grab what i want if they're in drawers like this oh it doesn't work like i know pencils liners brows mascaras concealers i know that but these are all mixed so i hardly ever go in there and i've got some gorgeous things so really i need to have some shelving extra shelving just to put everything on there but how many lipsticks does a girl need you know <laughs> i got flipping loads i got loads <laughs> some of my toners some of my larger palettes and yeah here are my eyeshadow palettes again i've got rid of quite a few so i've just kept my favorites but still that's a lot in it that is a lot my favorite at the moment is this one it is just beautiful the natural nude by Too Faced love a Huda Beauty one love this pixie one as well I love sort of mushroomy taupe sort of shades for a smoky eye I do like that oh and here as well this is beautiful P Louise but again because it's here I don't go towards it so I need things to be on show um yeah i was sent these as pr and i haven't used them yet so they're there waiting and yeah down to my brushes they all need a good wash those are my clean ones i have an obsession with brushes and i've just got rid of a load as well i can't help it i can't help i get so excited when i get brushes let's come down here and show you what i've got then so i i do need a little bit more space but here are my like powders and highlighters and oh look at this oh this is so beautiful this is going to come on holiday with me ambient lighting powder pricey but lasts ages and is stunning it's just stunning yeah got charlotte tilbury v nars and more hourglass and this little cabinet is full of random things highlighters well you can see not that keen on this one bye bye redness but um, my daughter likes it so I do keep it and I've got some other color correctors there and eye primers keep my washable little pads there for when I apply like a toner and then up here then I've got my favorite face powder by Terry another hourglass but that is 
darker i think that's ambient too for when i've got a tan oh this is beautiful becca skin perfector can't get it now unfortunately but i love it charlotte tilbury charlotte tilbury products there blushes and things so yeah so that's that then come over to my lipsticks it's <laughs> Oh my gosh, these by Terry ones are beautiful. I had a few in the advent calendar. Oh, I forgot to say actually, I better put it up on the screen. A lot of these products are bought by myself in beauty boxes or individually, but a lot are gifted to me in different beauty boxes and advent calendars. And I honestly can't remember what is gifted, what's not, what I bought what I was given from friends or whatever so I can't tell you but I'm not being sponsored for this video <laughs> so there you go so yeah lots and lots of lipsticks there love by Terry love NYX yeah beautiful beautiful lipsticks then here it's just random random stuff again <laughs> random stuff what is in there just lipsticks concealers and yeah powders and then that's quite hard to get out because <laughs> they're all squished in there powder puffs and beauty blending sponges then up here is like primers and a few things that i've added as well like lipsticks here's lipsticks oh yeah no these these are amazing absolutely amazing superstay vinyl ink by maybelline and i've got another shade somewhere i think it's in my bag and oh they're stunning i cannot wait to use them i can't at the moment because i've had lip blush so i've got to wait about two weeks before i can apply lipstick which you wouldn't have thought i'd have to apply lipstick after having my lips semi-permanently tattooed but unfortunately it hasn't come out right and there's a lot of um correction that needs doing yeah, and then i've got some highlighters some more by terry lipsticks highlighters bronzers and in here Oh, I love this one. This is all my eyeshadow pencil. If you're looking for shadow sticks that do not budge by Terry, these ones, they do not budge whatsoever. The lighting isn't great, sorry. They're really, really creamy, really beautiful, but yeah, they do not budge at all. So they're good. I prefer them than the Charlotte Tilbury ones. So there's that. And again, lipsticks. <laughs> um random things little um eyeshadows and miniatures and again these are a mixture oh these are lipstick pencils maybe down here is all like little tools and shavers and things like that and then up here then this video is going to be super long <laughs> i have got it's not in any order or anything i've got all my like micellar waters up here then i've stuck these two up here because they just fall down here i love this eborian bb cream and the cc water pricey 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 but you do get quite a bit but they are so so nice and here here's a mix of foundations and you can see flawless filter which is nice i only use a tiny bit of that so that's going to last me ages oh this is one of my favorite favorite spf's tinted moisturizers it is beautiful and yes more foundations down there these are just beautiful these skin paradise ones i've got heavier foundations towards the back there that i use just if i'm going out or going somewhere for the day i need to wear my makeup for a long time right then down here i've got a giveaway coming up soon so they go in then i've got some boxes there ready to do more giveaways you can see there's quite a few there then down here is a box for anyone of the family to go in and take and have a look not these though saying that i've just put these rio de janeiro products in there today <laughs> shower gels shampoos and just bits and bobs that the night my daughter asks me for or if we're running short of shower gels or something i'll say right have a look in the box there or it's not a box a basket coming over here then this is all my skincare and yes i've only got one face so <laughs> there's only so much i can use so i have devised a sort of plan this area this one and that one are the two shelves that i use and my aim is to not touch any of those 
until I've used up those. <laughs> They're all mixed up. I will in time separate them so then I've got toners, serums, moisturizers. They're all over the place at the minute so I'm constantly like grabbing from there, grabbing from there. But yeah, this is an amazing exfoliator and it's gentle enough to be used daily. It is beautiful. I will always use this. Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliator with salicylic acid. Yeah, it is stunning. And this is, I've got two, oh, that's a full size but I'm running out of it's the Vici Mineral 89 Hyaluronic Acid Serum it is amazing although I do have a Medicaid one which is also very nice but I think I've used that this is another toner I love as well this is beautiful moisturizer which is nearly empty now Bobbi Brown face base and actually even though again I don't like the smell I love this cream it's the fresh rose deep hydration face cream lots of um, SPF Grum I like I like this one as well thank you farmer thank you farmer is a Korean brand really really love this stuff Olea Hendrickson Truth Juice Cleanser. I haven't used that yet, so that really should be in there, but I want to use it because <laughs> I, I love it. Oh, there's just so much. <laughs> so, oh, this as well. Oh my word, Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate by Shiseido. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous serum. So I'm halfway through that at the moment. Pricey, but gorgeous. And then down here, Lots of Elemis there. This, this is the Morning Matrix. And uh, I've got an eye mask there. I've got serums. This is one of my favourite moisturisers, Clinique Moisture Surge. So yeah, I do like to swap things around and um, try things out. Like I just tried today, Caprea Shield Serum, Vitamin B3 and Niacinamide, which was lovely. Went on really nicely on my skin. I tried that for the first time today. Let's go on to the areas I haven't tried yet. So I've got another Eborian cream there. In the back, some products I've tried before, some I haven't. Lots of shampoo bars there, which I'm gonna take a few of me on holiday coming over here you can see murad elemis Lecura, nip and fab or keels it does overwhelm me but i do think having these sections separated really helps because then i just concentrate on choosing products from these two you know although again i've used this <laughs> so that really should go up there that is a really really nice cleanser really nice more elemis products there lumine lumine is a beautiful brand upcycle inky list yeah there is a lot so unfortunately when you see me unboxing products i can't always tell you what they are like because i just can't get through everything that I buy or I'm gifted I just can't do it and there's a lot that I give to people as well I do try a lot and the ones that I don't like I pass on to friends and family and um, products that I've tried before and I know I don't like or I've got duplicates or something then yeah I give them to charities if there's any um, charity events and things like that so I make up little boxes or I just pass on as like gifts to my friends and family or the nail tech who does my lovely nails <laughs> I always bring her something I have never ever had anything like this before and it's all thanks to you watching my videos that I'm able to go and purchase things to review and also for brands recognizing that I have a YouTube channel or, in or Instagram and then reaching out asking if I'd be interested in testing some of their products so yeah so thank you so so much every one of my friends and family just thinks this room is bonkers <laughs> but I love my hat wall <laughs> this is my newest hat really stiff though so thanks for watching and if you have any ideas of how I can organize the stuff that I don't see I am gonna have to go through it and get rid of a lot of things because they only last for so long don't they and I do go through it now and again but I generally don't touch the stuff that is in the drawers so I'm gonna have to do that but if you know of any sort of shelving units anything like that that you think oh clear this will be really great for your room please let me know but yeah thanks for watching and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come take care <laughs> bye